Hi, I'm Chef Neil Doherty. Welcome to the Cisco Foodie Test Kitchen. Today we're going to be cutting a strip loin mm -hmm. with uh, Chuck the Butcher. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at ways of really extending this and do some different cuts because right. most people take this and they're going to do one of two things. They're going to roast it whole. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, it was called English uh, cut roast beef, right. thinly sliced uh, sirloin. Uh, and then obviously you have your breakfast steaks and the mm -hmm. end with the veins, the and we'll come back here. to that in a minute. And, you know, and then cut New York strips. Now the issue with cutting New York strips was we were losing technically this much of the loin uh, to vein steaks. So really yeah. we're cutting strips and then squaring this off. Mm -hmm. So quite a bit of waste right. to get a quality steak. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually cut off the uh, vein steak area and show it to you as a small roast Mm -hmm. but also for roasting for like sliced beef sandwiches, et cetera, that but using a very thin slicer yeah. cuts up the yeah, sinew. Right here. And then Maybe. what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, loin and we're going to split it in half. Mm -hmm. And one half we're going to do a mock mm -hmm. tender, or should I say a sirloin mm -hmm. tender for carving stations. Yeah. And then on the other side, we'll cut what they call a Manhattan club steak, okay which essentially is a New York steak cut in half. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we'll show you basically how to trim it also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the front end. Get the back now, strap off. Take the back strap off. And now I usually mark it out. Chuck, is that okay? Yep. Perfect. So Chuck, much more of a retail background, yeah. me much more a, a hotel restaurant. Yeah. And we put the knife under the uh, the back strap. Back right? strap or really hardcore. Uh, it's extremely tough. Somebody gets that, it ruins the whole meal. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. But it is. A, it is a tough piece. Yeah, for sure. Doing all right there, Chuck. You're looking good. Now the vein end is going into the sirloin, right? Right. And. The far end here, which I incorrectly marked last time, is going into the uh, ribeye. Yeah. And technically, the first steak cut on this is a ribeye steak. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe even two. Let's start by cutting that piece off, Chuck. Uh, we'll take it to about here, right? Okay. So you'll take, here's your vein end, and you have a dip in here, which they call the saddle. So about right here. Only a guy from Montana would know that was yep. called a uh, <laughs> saddle, right? And there's your vein. Now here's the vein. Now the, the deal with the vein is it makes yeah. it difficult uh, and <clears throat> you're setting yourself up for some failure yeah. if you're serving it as a steak straight up. What we can do is we can use a knife and we can break it. It is a very simple procedure or you can use a scissor. And mm -hmm. um, what we do is we break it and it'll make it a little easier to bite and eat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I like to take this particular piece and I like to tie it. So let's get that rope up here. Okay. We'll tie her up nice and tight. Okay. I like to take this and I like to roast it to about 125. Let it, uh, let it relax. And I use this for my sliced roast beef for sandwiches, for a special for lunch. Or you can use it as you know, small breakfast steaks or chicken fried steak where you take it, slice there it thin, mm -hmm. take the fat off it and yep. pound it. Just like that. Beauty. Now this is really pretty and i'm going to steal that one uh, one ribeye steak out of yeah. here oh could probably steal two out of this one looks good that's a and you can go back and trim that back strap a little bit more yeah, up there if, if you, you want need if to. you yeah this piece right here take the right off the back of it there we uh -huh. are i'm, I'm thinking i'm good with that one that's, yeah. that's a beautiful steak looks good so, stole my ribeye, yeah. and now what we're going to do is we're going to we'll probably take a little bit of this fat off the yeah. back. Yeah, right off the tail. Okay, and I think we're going to split this. What do you think, Chuck, for the uh, cut? Right, right here? Right here, you think? All right. Looks good. 
And we'll tie up this side. And we'll tie up this. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie this up for the mock tender. Yeah. Now, because it's squared off, we kind of want to roll it around a little bit mm -hmm. to get that look off because we don't want a square face on the chopping board. And we probably want to denude everything except for a, maybe a one inch strip yeah. down it. So take a little bit of the fat off. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same right okay. here. I'm lucky I got the bigger knife. Yeah. It's a little easier. And I'm going to make some Manhattan club steaks out of this. There you go. And I'll tie this one up. Actually, we're getting away with not Looks losing pretty good. too much out of this yeah. at all. Yeah. It's a nice big side. So what, what size do you usually cut these? About one inch? Yeah, I would say at least that. Yeah, maybe right there. Beauty. Well, look at those. So what we're technically doing is showing you a few different ways of using a strip. Now, the reason that we really want to show you different ways of using a strip is because during the holidays, this is anywhere between 2 and $4 less expensive than ribeye rib uh -huh. and substantially less expensive than a tenderloin. tenderloin. So when you put this on a, on a roasting, on a carving board, people generally think when it's cooked that this is tender. a sirloin tender. There we have a strip loin, mm -hmm. priced really good during the holidays, yes. turned into a carving station, turned into club steaks, stole a ribeye out of it, and we have a vein stain roast Vein steak roast yeah. for uh, you know slicing, slicing roast for, beef, for yeah. roast beef sandwiches mm -hmm. etc. Or slicing maybe six ounce steaks out of this for breakfast steaks. Yeah. Uh, make sure you cut the vein. But mm -hmm. there it is. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Good having you here.